going to jail and coming home and feeling like my, my girlfriend pretty much crushed. So it, it just has me out for revenge to kill or, or to get anything that anyone who ever did anything to me. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about betrayal. You're talking about lies. You're talking about getting even. And when you look at be more careful when you when you talk about the character you played whose name was black in the film for those that have not read the book or seen the film yet you can find the film on google or on amazon um it's a it's a it's definitely something that you need to know that it is action-packed fast-paced and raw and i can tell you that black the film kind of starts with black and 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 also you know, we're not going to talk about the ending, but to get into the to the background, um, we encourage everybody to look at Be More Careful. It's Be Dash More Careful, and it's about you know Baltimore, not Baltimore, Baltimore. Did I say it right, Greg? Baltimore. <laughs> and and so you're you you grew up in Baltimore. Can you tell us about about your you know your experience growing up in Baltimore, Baltimore? And and tell us a little bit about, you know, some of the things that contributed to, you know, your energy and channeling the 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 character of black. Yeah, I guess that's your reason why. Came up under my mom and my grandmother for the most part. Um, dad was there, but pretty much in and out of my life. Um, and. and I, like I said, I experienced a lot of different things in life. Um, shout out to my brother, Terrell. I know everyone knows Sizzle. Uh, see Sizzle. But I experienced a lot of things in life, especially when he came in my life. Um, as far as traveling and things like that, I've been out of work overnight, like I had with him. Uh, so, uh, to answer your question, you know, uh, like I, I, I didn't have a, a real bad life, but of course, you know, I struggled. My mind struggled. Um, and just being inspired to be a, a young actor, I just feel like that, that, that's, my, that's my way of making it out of the city. So I but you, play, uh, I'm listening to you. you. You did play. I'm listening to you. I, I, I played sports. I played sports. I was able to play in California, and I also played in Argentina for two years. 20, 20 years. Tore ligaments in my hand, and that's pretty much what stopped me from playing ball. I also went on to buy a professional basketball team in the American Basketball Association under the name Baltimore Hawks, which is this is my tenth year doing so. Congrats! So, and, and not to mention, um, I'm actually the president of the ABA now, so I'm overseeing 182 teams throughout the United States, Mexico, and Canada. You see, y'all, uh, look at that. You got you got a talented executive that's not only you know pursuing a phenomenal career in, in cinema, but also bringing entertainment and sports to life through the ABA. And um, you know there was a big piece in ESPN about how um, the Denver Nuggets um, evolved from the, the the ABA league, and and you know there were rowdy back then and they're still rowdy now but nonetheless you know we got to talk about some basketball um and and your vision for that and some of the upcoming moments of the show but but i definitely know that we have one of your other cast members on the line i believe mitchell you're on the line hello mitchell hi good to see you thank you for joining us and uh, now you were in B, you were in Be More Careful as well. Can you tell us a little bit about um, your character and what attracted you to the role? Yeah. So my mom, I was born in Baltimore, but my mom was born and raised there. And so, you know, I spend a lot of time back and forth between Baltimore and New York. So when I heard about the movie being um, made, I was excited because I remember reading the book. <laughs> when my mom would have it in the house. I wasn't really supposed to be reading it, but I still did. And so it was exciting and I wanted to be a part of it. And and so for those that don't know, Be More Careful is based on a novel by Shannon Holmes. It's it's something that you definitely have to be ready to, to dive into, but don't change that dial. Hold that 
dial because we're going to come back from a quick commercial break. You listen to what happened here. Music. You want to stay on live, or do you want to you want to um, just watch from um from where you are? Okay, you sure you don't want to you want to you want to chime in? I can tell them you're on live. Aspects of your life. Okay, my guys We haven't gotten to you yet, so don't don't speak too soon. Okay. Because divorce happens at the intersection I'm just kidding. of where you've but been, good looking, and, where you're going. and uh, just uh, if you have any you questions or any thoughts, definitely tap in. And you know, we're here the things that are important. talking about be more careful on Instagram Live. Is Roberta James, the executive producer, who brought this whole thing in life, financed it, and made it happen? And never happened in the history where a black woman just made it all happen in one shot. So Anger. We'll be talking about Roberta um, in the upcoming sets with um, Greg Brown, the character of Black, and Mitchell's online. Now, which character was Mitchell? www.westchesterfamilylaw.com. I lost it. Did I lose you? Yeah. I also have the female star, Zeta. And now back to. Yeah, tell her to send me a request. Um, for a video. Yeah, ask her to send me a request to join. Right. Yep. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. My name is Rich Tuck. My name is Rich Thomas, former mayor of Melbourne, and you're listening to What Happened Here. And every Wednesday from 12 noon to 1 p.m., we ask that question. What happened here with a particular situation? Something that happened. And this week, we're asking the question, what happened here with Be More? The suspense, nationally acclaimed book that was brought to life uh, by executive producer, Roberta James, in partnership with the author of the book, Cannon Holmes. And on the line, we have with us some of the cast members from Greg Brown. And I know Mitchell was talking before we went to break, and she was telling us about how she snuck in time to read this book. Now, I know everybody's out there listening, like, what is Be More Careful with the book about? What is the film about? Well, you can find the film on Google. You can find it on Amazon. And encourage you to, you know, buy it. It's something that you just need to know that it is a real depiction of inner city life situations that people go through that often don't get discussed, explored, examined, respected. But this is a reality for many that live in urban cities. So be more careful is is a book that that really um, takes sex lies and betrayal to the next level and mitchell you were sneaking yeah. now now your character what was your character's name in in the film i was Stila. she was Stila, and she was someone that added a lot of variety and a lot of um continuity to the conversation can you can you tell us about you know Netta, and I know Netta's on Instagram Live. I'm trying to get her to join on Instagram Live, um, oh. but, but she has to send me the request. But t- 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 tell me a little bit about, you know, that transition from reading the book, sneaking the book. Your mom didn't want you to read it, but you read it. But now you're in the yeah. film. How does that make your mom feel, feel that you're in the film? I'm excited for you know, um, I think something that I'm excited about. 
where she was happy that, you know, it was that. So, you know, I mean, when I was reading it, I was super young, you know, I'm an adult now. So she's like, okay, I understand. But before, when I was reading it, it was shocking reading some of the things because I had never experienced or knew about those those type of things. And um, just seeing how Netta portrayed, you know, the, you know, seeing her portray, it was really good, you know, like, reading from reading the book to seeing her act it out, it, it, it was a perfect match, honestly. And, and, and just to, to give context to everybody, Netta, who is the, you know, the protagonist, the star of this film, yeah. um, has uh, or had a relationship with Black Greg Brown. I believe Greg's still on the line. He's the president of the ABA League, 182 teams around uh, the Western Hemisphere. And he's taking time out. I know he said he's traveling right now, but he's telling us just like um, Fila is, right, is telling us about how, you know, Black had a relationship with this woman that he loved. And, and yeah. when you really boil it down, this is about a broken heart. This is about some hurt feelings that don't, that don't, yeah, that don't know how to handle it and they want to get revenge. And, yeah. and this is one of the most primal, brutal ways of, of going after it. But um, just, just to kind of look at it as squarely as, as we are right now, Knowing what we know now, you know, that the reactions don't have to be that way. In certain aspects, do you feel that it should be that way? It should be so hard and aggressive and, and unrelenting? Or should it be something, you know, should it be a different approach? I don't know. Is that a question for Greg or is that a question for Phil? Now, I just want you guys to know that Netta joined on Instagram Live, and, and, it, and it looks like she's still on set. But uh, Netta is uh, with us on Instagram Live, and if you can't hear her, I'll, I'll relay the message. But Netta, um, we were talking about um, the transition of, you know, just when you boil it down between Black and Netta, this is about a broken heart and someone that wants revenge. I don't know how to handle their emotions. A hurt, very hurt man that's going to go after anyone and everyone that crossed him, including his ex-girl. But we're going to pick that up when we come back from break. Don't change that dial. Listen to what happened here. Hey, Netta, how you doing? I know that's not your real name, but uh, we've kind of we kind of renamed you. What's your, first, what's your first name again? Jewel. Hey, Jewel. So thank you for joining, and um, we're on a quick break. But everybody on Instagram Live can hear us. And there are people watching on YouTube and Facebook right now as well. And um, I'll just turn and show them the that you're, you're, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, there you go. You can see it. Oh, they, you can see them and they can see you barely. So there you go. But um, I just, um, you know, thank you for tapping in. Um, definitely want to know from you. Um, you know, what attracted you to the role? 
And and how did you identify with Netta? You know, is that something that that you know, knowing the storyline, betrayal, lies, sex, revenge, you know, is that is that something that 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 you feel is not discussed enough and, and, and as openly enough? Now, is it is it your internet reception? I can hear if you want, hey, we can give you the phone number. You can call in. Would you like to call in? That'd be easier. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so just ask um ask uh call yeah, call black and he can call you, put you in on three way. How about that? Okay. All right, because this way um you can be a part of the conversation on the on the telephone. We can, but but if you call, if you call, can can we get a third person on? Yeah, all right. So call. We're gonna Roberta's gonna send you the phone number to call in. Just call into the station, and we'll have you. We'll we'll hear you better that way. Okay. All right. Thank you. See you. See you on the phone. So. Yeah, Roberta, you just gotta you gotta send her the phone number. Um, no, she's getting the number right now. She's getting, she's getting it right now. No odor, no mess, and no stress. Stop swatting and ditch the DIY traps. With SIBO, getting rid of bugs hey, is easy. Hey, y'all, how you guys doing? Click, click, blue. SIBO, people friendly, bug deadly. Most powerful 500 watt station in America. Impressive. And New York State's most influential. The one and only local 1460 WVOS. 1460 WVOS. Hey, how you and doing? Going back to what happened here with Rich Thomas, the former mayor of Mount Vernon, on 1460 WVOS. Welcome back. Welcome back. My name is Rich Thomas, former mayor of Mount Vernon. You're listening to What Happened Here, and we're here every Wednesday from 12 noon to 1 p.m. asking the question, what happened here with a particular situation uh, issue? And this week, we're asking what happened here with the film, Be More Careful, based on the best-selling book by Shannon Holmes, which was brought to life and executive produced, financed by Roberta James, and you know, executive produced in partnership with Shannon Holmes, the creator of the novel, um, a phenomenal um, look into the realities of inner city life of some people that that have, you know, a different take on how they want to be. And when it boils down to it, you got betrayal, you got sex, you got lies, you got violence. You got everything from generational curses, trying to be broken. But before we went to break, we were calling Black out. Greg Brown, who is plays the character of Black from the book, who is going after Netta. We were trying to get uh, Jewel on the line. Netta is the character that leads a clique of girls called the Pussy Pound. And uh, Black was just sharing um, his understanding as to why his heart was broken. So, you know, Black and Fila, I know you were just talking about the situation. Um, Black, you were just kind of pouring out your heart there for a second. Can you tell us about, you know, why did it have to go so far? Is this a, a street code thing or was it just a, you know, I'm a hurt man and, and I don't know how to handle my feelings? Yep.
And and that's and that's something that you see play out in a lot of different relationships. And you see, you know, this aspect of, you know, domestic violence, um, you know, take turns. And and you have a scenario where in the book and in the film, you see, you know, Black and, and Netta, they 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 have a, a very physical interaction. I'm not going to get too far into it other than saying, you know, I don't know if Jewel called in yet, but Jewel's on. So, Jewel, we, we've been talking about you. And, and um, you know, on the line, we have Jewel, who is uh, plays the role of Netta from the book, Be More Careful, in the film, Be More Careful, which you can find on Google and Amazon, and highly encourage you to be ready to be, you know, uh, welcomed with a raw view into real life in inner cities that, that you know, you see kids when they come to school, sometimes they come to school a little ruffled because they're going through some hard experiences in life. And this is a glimpse of that life. So Jewel, you took on the life Netta, they took on the role Netta. What drew you to the character? And, and, you know, how did you channel such energy and passion to pour through, especially with, um, you know, confronting black? I like, there's a book, um, I like the it's about her paper. She was bossy, but she wasn't stupid out here with the niggas. Like she wasn't just doing anything. She was making she sure she got that paper. I like not a role so I felt like I could put the shirt I felt like it was it was easy. First got the hang of it, I was like, Okay, I'm making that it. I like the style. And throughout and throughout the film, you know, you had to, you know, release some tension. You had to address or check some members of your clique. Can you can you talk about, you know, seeing that play out? You know, Netta, like you mentioned, she didn't just do anything and everything. She had some principles, some rules, some structure. Can you tell us about, you know, some of the things that were out of line for people that were going to be in the pound? Definitely drugs was out of the line. Drugs were out of the line. No drugs. And so when when some of your click got out of line, you brought discipline upon them. Is that is that a way to put it? Or you pushed them out? What did you what was Mm-hmm. Now, yeah, Mimi, we, we was on some bullshit. Now, let me bring you back to um, Fila, where Fila was saying she was trying to, you know, intervene in your relationship with uh, Black. And can you tell us a little bit about, you know, being in that position and in, in identifying or representing women? other women that are the subject of domestic violence at an extreme level. Can you talk about, about that, about that moment? I'm talking about when your friends in the pound tried to, you know, get in between you and black from in, in your, in your, your road to recovery after your interaction or, or black and you got back together. I'm not saying back together in a good way. I'm talking about when Black and you finally had that first collision. You know, it was something that was that many women face when they, you know, have an abusive partner. And I just wanted to ask you to talk about that experience in. Yeah. in And now tell us about about the evolution of that, because after, you know, you um, and without getting into the ending for some people that haven't seen the movie, for some people that have not read the book, we're not going to talk about the ending. But what we're talking about is the real struggle of women, men and, and how they resolve their differences. And Netta being the star of, you know, the subject of the book and the film 
um, had a relationship with Black, who was played by Greg Brown, who's on the phone. He's also the president of the ABA League. And we have Fila on the line, um, Mitchell on the line, who played the role of Fila, which was a part, she was a part of the Pussy Town that Netta uh, ran. And I'm just want to unpack now, you know, what, when Black went away to jail, you decided that, you know, it's over. He, he's, he ain't coming back. You moved on. Is what, why would Netta make that decision if she was really feeling? Well, Netta just felt like, okay, she didn't see the end of the tunnel. And I didn't think that Black would have been that point. Now, a lot of a lot of people here in music, oh, you know, when, when someone goes away, they got to wait. Netta was like, nope. I'm putting me yeah. first. Yeah. We was, so we just, why so watch the language. Right. So, so as you, as you describe, you know, some of the aspects of the life and the character, just encourage you to, you know, be less descriptive and, and, and more descriptive at the same time. Just be, be this is a, um, as much as I want you to be Netta, I need you to, to be Jewel for a moment and describe it in, in, a, in a more of an Applebee's way, if that's possible. Because this movie is so raw, it is definitely unique, but it belongs in the genre of discussion for culture. Because, you know, you got the hip hop reaching the 50th anniversary, you got the museum being built in the Bronx. It should have been built in Mount Vernon, but that's a different discussion. But I can tell you right now, the whole experience, the struggle, is fully captured and depicted in Be More Careful. And there are moments in Be More Careful where Netta is having this, you know, surreal experience where she's revisiting moments with her, you know, her, her family and her mom and giving some words of wisdom. What was one of the key points of wisdom? that Netta received um, in a moment of clarity? I feel like in a moment of clarity, Netta knew for a fact she had no one for herself. And if I don't get too detailed, but feel like giving my opinion. The book is very believable. Like, it's women out here who who live like that. Like, this is their lifestyle. And, you know, I'm from Baltimore, so it's like, another family, her upbringing, that's nothing outside of the normal. Like, that's normal for us. Like, it's, it's here. It's in our face. It's like every day. So the book is very, the movie, the book is very relatable. I think the women are going to love it. I think it's a thing. I mean, it's apparent that you got a, a, a very strong female character, an alpha female um, that is basically putting herself first and and defying the the popular perceptions. And and that's something that this you know film pulls out. Be more careful, not only in the name, you know, be more as in Baltimore, but be more careful about what you do and and how you do it. Because there are lots of different games that are played. There's there's different types of uh, motives at work, and and as you know, we were discussing with 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 Netta, uh, played by Jewel, Greg Brown, uh, who who plays her deranged, heartbroken. What you can't really see his heart is broken because he's so, you know, enraged. Ex boyfriend comes back to get revenge not get even not you know make it known that he's upset but he wants revenge and it doesn't matter who it is or what it was he wants to get beyond even he wants to make it clear that nobody's going to come meet his mom shop and be all say it again Black took it too far Greg took it not Greg Black took it too far Black took it too far oh, never mind. hold on now. And, and, and 
You see, you, we listening, we listening, we listening to Black and Netta talk. So what what I what I could tell you is, you know, this is exactly part of the the dynamic. You have issues that boil over and become, you know, completely unmanageable because because, you know, the reality is very abrasive and in your face. And as uh Jewel was describing, you know, there are women particularly in inner cities that live the way Netta does in be more careful. And I don't know if Phil is still on the line. Uh, who was in, okay. And being a, yeah. And being a part of the click, you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a survival decision because it is, what's the, what are, what are the alternatives? What types of opportunities are available to, you know, your character in in the book, you know, what kind of work is available, what kind of things are there other than what is it? Drugs, sex, lies? Yeah. And it's funny to listen because, you know, even though Be More Careful is really uncut and it's raw and, you know, it's real and but what it's relatable because the like even people who are not who didn't grow up in a city can relate to this type of situation because it would everyone's trying to survive you know well we're going to talk about survival when we come back from this this quick commercial break don't change that down one second y'all <laughs> quick quick conversation hold on <laughs> Consequence Family Funeral Home is one of the largest and finest funeral facilities in all of Westchester County. We represent a four-generation tradition of providing the highest level of personal service. Our reputation has spanned throughout the county, and families have traveled the extra mile to call upon us during their time of need. Our spacious facilities and parking area provide immeasurable conveniences to visiting friends and loved ones. Most importantly, the diligence, dedication, and compassion of the Graziano family and our staff provides a heightened comfort at a time when it's needed the most. Visit us at www.coxandgraziano.com to learn more about us or call at 914-698-5968. Our licensed funeral directors are on hand seven days a week and can meet with you to discuss various options when planning a funeral. We can also assist you with pre-planning for peace of mind or for Medicaid. Our staff is knowledgeable, professional, and most importantly, compassionate. I'm Jen Graziano. When you call upon Cox and Graziano in your time of need, you are treated like part of a family. Mind. Hi, this is Paul Stevens, the owner of the New York Empire and your host for Chasing History. We'd like to invite you to listen to our program every Friday, 11 to 11.30 a.m. on WBOX 1460 on your AM dial. Radio's favorite dynamic duo. At least we know what we're up against. Dennis and Tommy, and good morning, Westchester. Weekday mornings from 6 to 9, right here on 1460 WVOX. 1460 WVOX. And now back to What Happened Here with Rich Thomas, the former mayor of Mount Vernon, on 1460 WVOX. Here we go. Welcome back. Welcome back. My name is Rich Thomas from Mayor Mount Vernon. You're listening to What Happened Here. Today, we are asking the question, what happened here with the film, Be More Careful? 
based on the action-packed suspense novel by Shannon Holmes, which takes a hard look into the inner city life of, you know, women in, in, in Baltimore, Baltimore, excuse me. And, you know, this is a, a film that was executive produced by and financed largely by Roberta James in support and partnership with Shannon Holmes and uh, Roberta. Uh, I know she's out there listening. We're going to talk about her in a moment. But before we went to break, we were talking about how relatable um, this dynamics in Be More Careful are. And before we wrap up the show, you know, got to thank WVOX for allowing us to have this somewhat unfiltered conversation because this is, you know, the voice of the people. And all people are represented on WVOX's platform. So I just want to thank them for that because this is why we need stations and, and organizations like WBOX to help people share their story, tell their story, because the reality is stories like Be More Careful often get lost in the shadows. And you see the uh, consequences of households that are broken and dealing with problems of guns, drugs, sex, lies, impacting children that come into the school system. And they bring some of that you know, energy that they don't even know how to deal with and they disrupt the classroom or they lose interest in the academics or they don't know how to socialize beyond the, you know, I got to get revenge because that's what they see at home. But the reality is, you know, as you heard one of the characters played by Mitchell, you know, feel of discussing and describing, echoed by the protagonist, Netta, that uh, the character Black did not have to go that far in getting revenge. But Black was explaining before we went to break, you took my money and ran off and you broke my heart. So of course I'm going to act that way. So th those dynamics are very, very, very real. And I encourage everybody to look up, be more careful on Amazon and Google because it definitely takes a hard, unvarnished look at life in Baltimore. So you got to be more careful. And now, before we wrap up, I just want to ask you guys, um, was this your first time ever meeting or coming into contact with the executive producer, Roberta James? No. It was yours. All right. So we're going to start with you. Tell us about your experience with Roberta, because she's definitely a force to be reckoned with in a good way. In a great way. That's right. I needed encouraged me from the very moment she like I was on it was nothing but great, great energy. If it wasn't for Ms. V, I don't know how I would have put through. So I know the feeling. Great. And and um Jewel and, and Greg. Yes. Jewel, I'll let you go. Hold on. That was me. This is coming. This is Sheila. Deja. Hey, Deja. <laughs> yeah. My name is Roberta. Um, I'm very close to Roberta. It's part of my family. Um, and really, in all ways, Roberta James is a playmaker. Like, watching her make everything happen with the movie and just, like, the way she moved and the way she handles this. And I'm just happy that she was able to get this movie up onto the screen um, because I feel like it's going to resonate with a lot of women. And a lot of people. Now, as Deja was describing, Roberta's a playmaker. Deja's a playmaker, too. And, and knowing Deja, she ran from Memorial Field to the Olympics in Rio. And, and now she's running laps around motherhood. So, Deja, can't, this is your, is this your first role acting? Things happen, but this is my first movie. Wow. So it's really exciting. And are you are you looking forward to doing more um film? Yeah, I actually did some work with Greg on his movie Eleven recently. So that was exciting. Now wait a minute. I saw in the in the preview of Eleven, Greg was running. Now could he keep up with you? Uh <laughs> how much of a head start did you get, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> you know, good one. Get him out. Get him going. 
Now, Greg, this is this. So tell us about Roberta and 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 the role she played in help, you know, bringing you and the whole um, collective together for Be More Careful and even with Eleven. Roberta, 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 known as Miss B. We call B now. Mm -hmm. we call her Auntie B, man. I, I gained another family now. Uh, messing around with Miss B. Now, Miss B, definitely a handful, but I have learned that lady so fast. Like, I came, I was brought on for be more careful to play a, a actor, like another role. And she saw black in me, Trinity saw. So, that played. Hey, look, I get cussed out just like you. Just bust out. Loud. <laughs> so, like, um, I say that to say she, she's actually the executive producer on Eleven Two, and she all she also the director on Eleven Two as well. She just come on to help with that film was major for me because definitely needed the help, and she helped bring my vision to life. Like right there. And that and that's and that's a fact. And you know, I know Deja said it, and I can say it. You know, she she knows how to she knows how to pull out the best of people, and that's something that's truly rare. But but we need that in life. So the one of a kinds, like Roberta, Roberta James, Miss B. You know, we thank you. We love you. We were very excited about this this project. It was a surprise in 2022 when she was always saying, I'm going to do a film. I'm going to make this thing. And she would disappear for weeks at a time to Baltimore, Baltimore. And, and next thing you know, out comes a feature film. Over 300 people showed up, packed out the theater. No seats were, were available. Yeah. People tripping over each other, popcorn everywhere, because it was just truly an engaging and captivating show. Um, I, I, you know, want to encourage everybody, where can they find you? So, you know, Deja, where can they find you online? And, and, and what do you expect for the for the next uh, round of, of, of cinema coming out from 11 to be more careful? Yeah, and I'm sorry, pretty much the handle on my platform as well. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what comes out of both of them, you know, like, going to keep promoting and promoting and I hope you guys all go and watch it because it really is a great movie and I feel like you'll really enjoy it and for 11 as well like I'm excited to see what comes from it I feel like they're both going to be amazing outcomes so yeah well looking forward to seeing you in 11 and encouraging everybody to find be more careful on Google and Amazon uh, uh Jewel Netta any any final thoughts before we wrap up the show on be more careful how they can find you and what you what's next um, for whatever's next, I hope it's more films, especially with me. And again, Apple TV, Prime, Go watch the movie. That's right, Apple TV. I forgot, I left that one out. I'm glad you corrected me. Greg, we're going to talk ABA in the near future. Hoping to have you each back on to talk again in the near future about how the film has been received. Um, I know it's been received very well. Looking forward to seeing what's next from each of you as we go forward. Thank you so much for joining us for what happened here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.